Hey guys, it's Mike Chen here in New York. It's always nice to come back to this food court. One of my favorite ones on Roosevelt Avenue. But first, bubble tea. It's just strawberries and tea. Anyway, before getting to today's video, a big thank you and shout out to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video and continuing to support this channel. I've been talking about Surfshark VPN for years now. It's something I use every single day on my laptop, on my phone. It is a tool I feel like everyone should utilize. And here's why. If everyone's traveling more, you're connected to all sorts of different hotspots. I'm sure we all experience this. Whenever we're Googling something or talking to our friends about something, all of a sudden they ask for whatever we're talking about, start popping up everywhere. That's companies getting access to your personal information. So what a VPN is, it's a virtual private network. And what Surfshark VPN does is that it encrypts and secures your personal information before it it goes over the internet, so people who you don't want having access to your personal information, they won't have access to it. Surfshark has something called Surfshark Alerts, so if anyone's trying to get access to something like your email, you're gonna get notified right away. Also, on the entertainment side, you can utilize Surfshark VPN to kind of trick Netflix into thinking that you're in a different country, so you can check out another country's Netflix video catalog. And there's really no risk in trying this. If you are interested, go to my link down below. Use my promo code Dumpling. You'll get 83% off, plus three months for free. And try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it, for whatever reason get your money back all right i'm gonna go get the rest of my food and uh, enjoy the video i mean just look at it just stare in awe of his beauty Hey guys, Mike Chen here in Dubai. Been here a few days. I tried the local street food, some buffets, but Dubai is also a city known for its super innovative and often very glitzy food items. So I'm gonna be trying out one of those today. But before all that, breakfast. So breakfast is at a place called Brunch and Cake. This has been rated one of the best breakfast places in all of Dubai. To use the word cute to describe this place would be a complete understatement. If I imagine what a brunch place would look like in, in, in any rom-com or a dimension where everything is happy and bright and, and people just are living their best life, this is what will come to mind. Such a pretty place. Anyway, a couple dishes. You gotta see this. Three dishes. First two just came. I got this giant scramble that they have on their menu. So this thing is a corn and zucchini pancakes, caramelized red pepper, chili scrambled eggs, grilled cheese, and grilled salmon served with some sour cream. This thing just tastes like a dream. Mmm. I think this is supposed to be kind of healthy. If this is what healthy tastes like, sign me up any day of the week. Egg, first of all, I feel like shouldn't be on this plate. It should be floating up in the sky. So incredibly fluffy. The zucchini pancake is gentle, it's delicious. The salmon is grilled perfectly. The chilies bring a little bit of heat before it melts down into the avocado that's underneath everything. And the sour cream brings more creaminess. Mm and just kind of ties everything together. This thing tastes as good as it looks. The next one is just a ginormous breakfast sandwich. Beef, bacon, mushrooms, truffle butter, Parmesan cheese throughout. This place bakes their own pastries on site, so I'm expecting good things. Mmm, hello. Whoa! Main attraction just arrived, but oh my goodness. This is a breakfast sandwich that should rule over all other breakfast sandwiches, and they should all pay patronage and offer it bacon and mushroom, whatever else it demands, because this is spectacular. The croissant is not all that chewy anymore. It's still flaky and nice. The eggs are fluffy just like in the last dish. You get the crunch from the mushrooms, the nice chew and saltiness from the bacon. Mm. 
But there's just so much cheese in this. If you're a fan of breakfast sandwiches or truffles or just good food in general, this is the sandwich for you. And on the side, they have a truffle croquette. Mm. I might like that one in the sandwich. I love the sandwich. This is so good. The outside crunch contrasts with the creaminess of the inside and the overwhelming truffle flavor. It just puts a smile on your face. I'm trying to eat it quickly because the main, like I said, the main attraction has arrived. This is a lobster shakshuka. I mean, just look at it. You just stare in awe of its beauty. And just cutting through the shakshuka, it kind of resembles a, a, a deep dish pizza almost, but I gotta say, so much more beautiful. I mean, look at the colors, the bright yellow, red, orange, green, and there's a lobster tail sticking out and lobster chunks inside the shakshuka with two perfectly cooked golden eggs. And when you pop them, the egg flows, the river of silk just flows throughout this dish. It's almost too much to take. I love the other two dishes. I'm in love with this one. This is so good. The bread on the outside. It's thin and it's soaking up that gorgeous sauce so ridiculously well. It's cheesy, it's tomatoey, it's creamy. It's just a texture, flavor. I mean, I love traditional shakshuka. It's one of my favorite breakfast dishes. And this one, although it's not traditional, in this variation, it's just so innovative and more importantly, just ridiculously delicious. I mean, my first chunk of uh, lobster. Mm. So glad I got this. I will highly, highly recommend getting this when you come here. Seriously, whatever is soaking up that creamy, delicious, mild tomato sauce, it just becomes better. Dessert is here and it is pretty. Cinnamon roll and a cast iron, rainbow ice cream, vanilla and chocolate dipping sauce. And you can see the vanilla beans in the vanilla. The cinnamon roll just tastes like Dubai. I mean, the cinnamon roll is so rich. I bet I could afford to live here and just come and eat at this place every single day. And everything is of the highest quality. Don't waste the vanilla sauce. The outer layers are all nice and toasty. The inside is cinnamony and soft. Ice cream is perfect. The dipping sauce is perfect. Every bite is rich, it's gooey. It's just exquisite. And just like every other dish from this place, it looks good, it tastes good. I can see why this place is voted one of the best breakfasts in Dubai. Dinner will be pretty extravagant and it will be at the tallest building in the world, at the tallest restaurant in the world, at the Burj Khalifa. Wow, I'm getting a little vertigo being up this high.
So we are 112 stories up at the Atmosphere, the tallest restaurant in the world. From here we can see the Burj Al Arab. It's the, the sailboat shaped hotel. We're actually staying there in a couple days. Well, actually, you can pretty much see anything from way up here. And dinner is going to be the Billionaire Golden Burger. Here it is. The Billionaire Burger. Patty covered in gold, bun dusted in gold, truffle fries, foie gras inside the burger as well. And the patty, not just any regular patty, Japanese Wagyu. This is a crazy looking burger. It looks like King Midas just like, went all handsy on my patties here. Slices of wild mushroom and truffle, slices of foie gras, all over some lettuce. Oh man, I, I probably lost like $10 of the burger right there. This is cooked perfectly. Japanese Wagyu patties. This is outrageous. Truffle fries too, by the way. I mean, the burger, it's just absolutely outrageously good. Patty, again, cooked perfect. They only offer two temperatures, medium, we're well done. First of all, the patties themselves are mind blowing. Melts in your mouth, fatty, waggy, you can taste the marbling. Once you take a bite, the patty just breaks down. And when I say break down, I mean completely dissolve on contact on your tongue, leaving this rich fatty layer of coating all over your taste buds. Just keeps generating more flavor as you chew. Truffle obviously adds so much amazing aroma, but at no time does it ever overwhelm the amazing flavor of the beef. The foie gras, of course, just adds to the richness and butteriness of this burger. Mushrooms provides a delightful crunch. This burger, Converted back, seventy-eight, it's about seventy-eight dollars U.S. Obviously, the gold doesn't add anything to the flavor. It is called the Billionaire Burger, so I guess it is appropriate. But flavor alone, this burger is just crazy good. If you don't like truffle, you're not gonna like this burger. Huge truffle flavor. It's a novelty burger, I get it. It's a billionaire burger. It's covered in gold dust, and you're eating gold. But this is actually freaking delicious. I've had plenty of Wagyu burgers in my life. This is the best one. Dish number two is a seafood platter. There's king crab, there's prawns, there's clams, there's fish. Oh, there's rice on the bottom too. Scallops as well, mussels. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of stuff in here. And he opened this up and poured lemon butter all over the seafood. All right, so it's getting a little dark outside and you can see outside the window, they keep it pretty dark inside the restaurant. Lights are turning on all over Dubai, pretty magical. King crab, ridiculously sweet. Whoa. The rice under the seafood is amazing. So when they're cooking that, all that nice juice from the seafood leaked down all over the rice, giving it so much great flavor. A little brininess, tons of depth. Oh. Scallops is amazing. First time I've seen Ming lobster. Oh, that lobster is so sweet. I think the best seafood item out of that pot is 100% the lobster, but the best item overall is that rice. Yeah, that rice is something I can eat all day long. Fish flavor is good, a tad dry for me. To be honest, like I wish they would just offer the rice without the seafood. I'll just take the rice. Some parts of the skin of the fish is pretty darn good. Just the meat's a little dry. Overall, this place, food is okay. Really like the burger. I think the seafood platter, the seafood is good. The rice is great, but you can't match this. It's so nice just sitting here, looking out at that, enjoying a nice meal. This is definitely a bucket list item. And although the food is expensive here, if you think about it, they charge you $50 per person to come up anyway. So two people, that's $100. Might as well be using that towards food. Then you can just sit here, relax, enjoy the view. All right, I'm gonna get back to my dinner, but 
that ends the day where I started out with some amazing breakfast at probably the most beautiful brunch place I've ever seen to definitely the most beautiful view from a restaurant that I've ever seen. And as always, all the information for the place I went to listed down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.